Today's show, it's Neil and Margaret from WZID, along with uh, some guy uh, from Auto Fair, Jason. Uh, normally, we would come to your school, Pelham Elementary School, and surprise you in class, and uh, maybe embarrass you a little bit in front of the kids and everybody, but uh, this year, or this month, we can't do it because of everything that's going on, but first of all, we just wanted to congratulate you from all of us uh, for being our Teacher of the Month, so congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, you know, Margaret is here. We're socially distancing right now, yes, but that's fine. she's going to read the nomination to you that uh, was sent our way. This is a, a parent that sent in a nomination. So her name is Amy Jensale, and she said, Mrs. Andrews is my son's first grade teacher. She's a huge support to not only my son, but to our family while my husband is deployed in the Middle East. Prior to my husband leaving, she assured me my son would be fine at school, saying, don't worry about him here. He'll be fine in this classroom. When the time came that my husband left, she wrote me an email offering her support, not just to my son, but to me as well. She encouraged me to reach out to her, not just as my son's teacher, but as a friend if I ever needed anything. When the Iranian missile strikes hit, she emailed me just hours later to check on how I was doing. Her offering of support to my son and our family during this difficult deployment is greatly appreciated and she deserves recognition. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, I, you know, obviously, obviously you're touching so many people's lives and you know, I'm sure it must be difficult, especially when you teach first grade. Yes, it that's the challenge. Must be, well, it must be difficult not to be around your kids right now. It is very difficult to not be with my children right now. It's not the what teachers are intended to do. <laughs> yeah. we, we're supposed to be, especially first grade, we need to be together. I need to be with them. Yeah. And especially Vito and this, the, the little guy, uh, Amy's son. At this time, uh, my husband was a 20-year veteran, so we've had many deployments in our family uh, with him being gone and me being home with the kids. So I know exactly what her family is going through, and that's why I just wanted her to reach out. Because fortunately, when we had our deployments, we lived on base, so everybody was in the same boat. But being out there in the cruel, cruel world, <laughs> um, I just wanted to know that she had somebody that you know she could depend on if she needed anything. Well, we certainly appreciate that, and congratulations on being a March Teacher of the Month. Now, normally we would be there, we'd hand you a bunch of things, but because we can't be there in person, They'll be coming in the mail. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but, but Jason from Auto Fair would also like to say a few words. Yes, yeah, Cheryl. On, on behalf of Auto Fair, we want, we want to thank you for everything that you do. We we so appreciate um, all the teachers, and you know some really step it up like yourself. And and you know it's it's an honor to be able to um, to thank you. And like they said, it's 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 better in person. Um, but uh, I'm glad that we were able to do it this way anyway. So I really thank so appreciate much. it. Thank you. Well, congratulations. And again, you know, hopefully you get back into the classroom this year. But, you know, who yeah. knows? Well, just keep plugging along. Keep plugging along. But well, thanks for what you're doing yeah. for all the kiddos remotely. And, you know, your dedication, we appreciate it. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.